What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And in this episode we are again still batting away Mughal stacks in North America. So we're going to take Gianfranco Adorno and annihilate this army of peasants pretty much. they got a couple of General's bodyguard units, um, but yeah it's all mob and levy units. So let's clear them out. It's really important to take advantage of when you get uh, opportunities like this. Uh, mob mob units aren't difficult to deal with, but it, they are they are difficult to deal with on mass. So if you've got three or four armies that are being called in to fight, you will find yourself getting overwhelmed pretty quickly. Um, so when the AI is silly enough to wander within range of you. And it's there saying, oh no, do you want to kill all these guys? You want to nod your head vigorously and go, yes, please. Because sooner or later you will be facing a horde of troops thinking, for God's sake, why couldn't I clear these guys out sooner? So I'm going to take advantage of this little... Uh, or am I? I was going to take... I was thinking of taking advantage of it, but it, it kind of creates a bit of a funky position in my line where I'm I'm better served using my massed firepower. Really. If I was more concerned about the action then I would I would use that terrain. But right now I I'm really just wanting to uh, get as many guns into the fight as possible and do as much damage as I can. So again my howitzers deploy deployed in safe positions to the rear. General up front. But yeah they've just got a lot of a lot of troops. So a lot of my artillery is going to focus on those 24 pounders. But I'm going to want to take this unit. There we go. So I am going to want to focus a, a lot on the the infantry that's actually going to be facing us. Because it's the infantry that, you know, has a chance to do the damage. Can you actually... Yeah, you, you are within range. I mean, you can continue to focus, you know, one shots at the 24 pounder, but let's annihilate some of these bowman units. Actually, I might. Okay, good. Might actually allocate two howitzers to fight this flank because it looks like they are messing a bit over here. And this gunner, plink at the general. It's quite a large target and it does mean that my left flank can push up. We'll do some good damage to the, this unit of Dakil, hopefully. First shot's a miss, second shot's a reasonable hit. Yeah, not great. Okay, so let's pivot this, the edge of this line back a bit. Okay, the general's now close enough that we can shrapnel shot him. So much so you guys might actually shoot at him as well. But our howitzers can... you... Keep bombarding, naturally. Um, but I am going to want to... I am going to want to push my line up, because right now they are... They're, straight, they're, they're, they're building their strength up on one flank, and I need to take advantage of that weakness elsewhere. Let's 
So you men need to make ready and assassinate that general. Okay, they're coming in now. Shrapnel shot the, the levy that's coming up. This unit of levy should not stand for too long because they are weakened. So a couple of volleys and they'll be away. In terms of the howitzers. Okay, keep the bulk of the howitzer fire facing uh, east. Well, ah, to our right flank. They are pushing around the flank a bit more than I would like. No, we're not going to fall back. You men are marines. We're going to clear out the right flank, sweep around. Let's bring Gianfranco on over here. Keep repelling you. If you guys want to charge, these are my marines you're charging here. And they're in fairly good shape. Oh, that's a good quick climb here as well. Okay, let's retarget. Oh no, they're in they're charging us with the camp with the uh, with the Ellies. All my howitzers round shot the alleys because I don't really know I never really know what the best course of action to deal with them is I mean I'm glad they charged my marines and I know that I'm going to suffer a big morale penalty shooting all this this amount of artillery at my at my men, but I kind of have to, right? See, they're shaking. I'm fairly sure my guys can stand up to it more than theirs can. If I pivot this line ever so slightly... There we go. So yeah, the general's unit's wavering. It's a bigger target. They take more damage. Good. My marines did get pummeled. But if you can get this bow unit to break, my general can start to chase down. Okay, let's charge them in on the assumption that they route before my general gets there. So let's halt fire. Grenadiers go in. Keep the flank going. It's got more, more levy coming in. Keep the quick climb going. Keep the quick climb going in front of the marines rather than in the combat. You guys knock out those bowmen and that would be great. Although, to be honest, it looks like... Keep advancing. Like, my marines aren't going to be... See, they're eager. They're more than happy to keep pouring out the, the fire. Yeah, some danger close quick climb clip to clip to them. Let's get my general involved. Not to kill, but to shatter. Just so we can ignore it. There's no there's no concern about it coming back. 
Although, to be honest, most of this stuff we can ignore. They are all routing, so just stop all my artillery from engaging. Oh no, there's a unit of General's bodyguard back there. How it's switched around, shot, everyone engage the General's bodyguard. While my general chases down some of their key units. Howitzers will likely chase him away. And there's no... Yeah, they've lost more than about half their number already. Yeah, there goes the general. We're going to continue, but we've naturally not got the capacity to do too much damage to them. But some is better than none. Probably a bit of an oversight, really. I need to get this. This army needs to be cavalried up somewhat. I wonder if you'll actually end up killing this unit because it's routing a terrible direction. Around 70 men. Right, Gianfranco is a capable general. So it's kind of important I don't kill him. Because even though I've got lots of generals, I'd like the idea of trying to actually get my generals ranked up to be good. What I've experienced in my Louisiana campaign. I mean, I don't... I mean, it does help because they get all these bonuses to help you in the battle. But I know I tend to treat my generals as disposable. And sometimes they are. When they're, when they're just a, a basic general, then, you know, they kind of are disposable. But it's when you get to know them and you get to understand them and you get to see them become like full, you know, maxed out experienced generals that you think, okay, maybe these guys are worth keeping around. Like Gianfranco. <laughs> Let's actually have a look. Because he's. Uh, uh, General's bodyguard. Okay, his actual bodyguard experience is. It's okay. Let's push them back. Ultimately, we've done lots of battles like this in north, north, um, in northern America because we all know what they're. The Mughals are just bashing troops into us because they can't afford to do anything else. So, are we going to defend this? Absolutely. This first army is very depleted, but the second army is, again, it's a kind of a composite. It's got a couple of good units, but mostly it's not great. And this reinforcing army is also not great. So, we are going to withstand this Mughal attack. They're doing, they've got a bit of a Soviet style going on at the moment, where they just seemingly are swarming us with units, and they're doing damage to us to inhibit our own offensives. And that's fine if they can maintain that rate of loss, which I don't think they can. So I want to, I want to form up on this slope. Take advantage of my again, take advantage of my firepower advantage. I mean I could get screwed over by the deployment zone, deployment system. Um, very much possible, although it shouldn't be. Cavalry out on the flanks, general in the center. Deploy our howitzers roughly every third along. My howitzers can't actually shoot anything at with uh, quick climb on, so they are going to fire round shot off the bat. And all the guns are going to focus on this unit of 12 pounder foot artillery, which is in quite a good defilade position. Their misses are taking losses. Here are theirs. Here's their reinforcements coming in. Yeah. The AI has a bad habit of recruiting... Has a bad habit of recruiting units with, you know, high counts of auxiliaries in. When they are um, doing things like colonising. When they're fighting in the colonies. Which isn't... 
terrible, but it is when they become the, the focus of your army. So you're going to focus on that levy unit. You Can you focus on firing round shot yet? Horseman units routed, which is good. Switch you to round shot just because. You can continue to drop shells onto the 12 pounders. This unit here. Switch to shrapnel and start blowing holes into the levee. I mean, this Zemendari horseman unit is not going to do much to us. Got mounted tribal auxiliary on the flank. You guys try quick climb them. Yeah, these horsemen are going to march up to our front and just receive an almighty volley of musketry. Even better if they like skirmish around the front. Yeah, you guys should be having a good time. Maybe aim at the bowmen. The quick climb goes in. Boom, boom. Good hits, good hits. This horseman unit. A valiant effort. They find their volley. They've satisfied their honour. My hussars have lost a handful of men there. So let's retarget my howitzers. Good hits on those horsemen. Come on, knock him out. Kill a couple more. But don't run after them. Get my guards to reload. You guys can stand to do this. So much damage. Okay, the two fangy are getting involved. Skirmish cavalry again. Actually, they're all they're all to our front. Can I switch to canister shot? I always feel like it, canister shot's a bit more dependable at short range than than um, shrapnel. This levy unit's not long for this world. Nope. Can you guys try and weaken this native lancer unit a bit? Oh, good stuff. And focus your fire on the artillery, on the infantry coming in. You guys try hit the two fangy, but you might be a bit close. You can hit the levy. You can hit the reinforcements coming in as well. These guys are going to be doing a real number on this general's bodyguard. Oh, not you guys. Charge the levy with them. Let's cease fire there for now. Tufangi have routed. They've had enough. They have managed to destroy one of our gun teams. But our shrapnel shot is just blowing holes in every formation. It's just not. They haven't got a chance. It's just the way we want it. Break the levy. So they got more artillery coming in to the rear. There we 
we go. So now this flank. Let set the cavalry. First of all, let's do it with you guys first. Yeah, look at that, all that artillery just sat there in one big clump. Ooh, pikeman. You chase down the levee. You may as well. Just try kill a unit. There's a couple of other options to chase down on the field. But I am keen to not abandon my position because it's a really good one. Once, once we get within range... Well, you will have to go clear out their artillery, but I'd like to do that in a way that doesn't necessarily leave my infantry without all their lovely, lovely artillery support, because you guys have seen just how much damage it does. And especially in battles where I'm at risk of receiving multiple attacks, one after another, having that support is pretty good. You guys, trap and shot that unit of bowmen. Hit the musketeers that are right there. Let's bring my hussars up to try and do something about the two fangi. Try charge them. Let's cease fire with these two units on the left. Yep, Kizobashi have got shot to bits. No, they hit a tree, so that stopped the charge. Just run my hussars out of the way. Just avoid this this mess I've gotten them in with the Tufangi. Okay, now... Do a bit more of a general advance. Okay, gen okay, you guys come back now. Keep the fire lanes free, because you guys want to be hitting the pikemen. Still coming in. But you guys still haven't killed. Okay, finally. Native bowmen on Kizilbashi Musketeers, so they will hit our line, but I don't really care. Not well, as much as I care about you guys getting a second volley into that unit of pikemen. Ooh! Kablamo! Some misses hit the two fangy to the rear. Maybe they broke, so form line again. You guys folks fire on the two fangy right there. So they're not really leaving their artillery exposed for us to destroy. You can try some pot shots at range. Let's try and follow these shots in. So we've got two shots. Boom, boom. They've lobbed up high. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look at that. 
Tokyo 2, their gun teams. Well, trading teams. We do need to clear them out. Because those guns will be slowly chipping away at everything we got. So I'm going to focus all my artillery on them. All my field artillery on them. Let's run into close range. Run into short range with their bowmen and other miscreants. So they, they're sat there, they can't believe it. They've got this short range engagement. They're going, this is great. But then, so it means I lose some guys to bow fire. I mean, you guys have to reload, finish reloading. And we've got some levy have hit us, but... When we start firing at that close range, then you'll really be for it. To be honest, I might set two of these to just keep blanketing an area up the hill. I might actually get you guys to charge into the back of that combat, just to make sure nothing silly happens. The field artillery is... doing good work. You guys... smash into the back of them. Elephants are engaging. Focus fire. The German's bodyguards wavering. You fired all your volleys. Garrison guards are wavering. They're probably going to rout when the general's bodyguard gets in there. Charge you guys into the rear of the levee. Okay, drop all the quick line ahead of us, but in the inside this block of block of enemy troops. The regiment of horses upset. Another infantry unit that looks like it wanted to rout. Two fangy coming in. Yeah. I think what happened there is I got too cocky. Back to the infantry, the, the artillery position we go. Hopefully you guys can break these chaps in fairly short order. And let's get these gunners back to firing shrapnel shot. I'd like to try and get these guys back to safety. Okay, let's try and get one of you back to safety then. Or two of you. Okay, good. Let's get you all back. Because, yeah, bad idea. Bad idea. Didn't work. Started to get mobbed. Be self-aware enough to recognise when a bad strategy is <laughs> is on the rise. No, run. Run away. This regiment of foot is going to hold out. Or attempt to, while quick climb comes, comes pounding in. They're still coming. Risky plan, but fire shrapnel shot. It has to detonate at the right moment, past the heads of my men, otherwise they'll all die. Like that, that worked. OK, 
Okay, let's retarget. Oh god, the levy just keeps on coming. Sooner or later, they're going to run out of guys. And then we can go after their artillery. Although we have got most of it. There we go, that's chased off one unit of levy. Get you guys to attack that unit of bows there. shrapnel shot blasting in as the volleys crash home <laughs> dear 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 Oh, you should route. You've got we fired enough. We've got one more volley left in the pipe. So if, if my gunners abandon the guns. Get you guys back. Keep on firing. There we go. The levy have routed over here. These gunners haven't left their guns. Folks fire that unit of horsemen. Cease fire! <laughs> Pivot the line back. Okay, St still coming in. So it's going to be these howitzers that do the most damage. They're slightly further away and I'll get slightly better angles. If you guys can pivot and get your get your guns reloaded before these levy figure out what they're going to do. That's so when you are able to blast that unit of levy. Still coming in, but that might be... There's a unit of mortars in there, but there should be a ghost mortars trundling along the map. It's repelled that unit. So there's a couple of units, but they, 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 when they're a bit too close, shrapnel shot just seems to detonate over the heads. So you actually need to fire canister shot within a certain range. On firing. It's the ammunition state that's looking a bit dire now. Both hit the bowman. There we go, they've gone away. So you fire round shot and engage. And these quick climb units have there's a handful more infantry to kill. There's a bit of mounted tribal auxiliary, but in general I can then pop my cavalry around the flanks to clear out. To 
clear out the uh, the enemy. I think we should have enough ammunition generally. Some units might be struggling a bit. Okay, light horse, in you go. It's this, you, yeah, so the, the, the howitzers that are firing quick climb engage the infantry, the one that's firing round shot can start to pick it. The tribal auxiliary, unless they are deciding to come within quick climb range. Yeah, look, so they've suddenly immediately gone, oh my god, cavalry is coming after our coming after our artillery. It's like a sure am, boss. Good, good hit. Good hit. Really good hit. They want to chase down our cavalry, which they may end up doing but not, not in time. Got a whole lot of artillery to take out here. Okay, hit some, aim somewhere else. No, I was hoping that they would, by not engaging them, they'd aim at something else. They would charge somewhere else. It's another unit that's been cleared out. You two guys both engage the levy. So they are firing some pot shots, but I don't think. We are sh we're shaking. See, if I got my general involved, we'd probably have enough to turn the tide. Fight the tribal auxiliary, because you should win that fight. Well, not when... Not when you got artillery shooting at you. Ceasefire. That battle will take care of itself. Okay, chase down. This chap, you guys, let's get my general over here to chase down some of their infantry. I think that's probably going to be it. So you guys are going to continue. Slaughter the foot infantry. You go off the 24 pounders. You guys go after whoever you like. We're going to stop the artillery from firing. Chomp. There's one gunner right there. You got him. They're going to escape. Yeah, they are going to escape. Ignore them. As are these guys, because the edge of the map is right there. Yeah. Damage blast, and it was a close victory. We were really starting to run low on ammunition uh, across the board, but that was quite a good, quite a good win, really. Eight thousand casualties for the enemy. We need some heavy cavalry. That's what we want. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, yeah. But in true Mughal style, here comes more, and they're attacking us on this island. This is going to be. You talk about a slog, this is going to be a slog. Whoo-wee. But let's do it. So many men at Punda to fight off. Two armies should be enough. By the time my last one starts to run out of ammunition um, and has to resort to either bayonet charges or just fleeing the field, then my second army can come in and help take up the mantle. Yeah, it's one of the slightly frustrating things about some of the major factions when you let when you leave them alone and they don't really have any objectives they do tend to just turtle 
and well as you can see there there's no reason for the enemy to have that many troops on one island like that but nevertheless that is the world we live in so unlike the last battle i am actually i am not going to get cocky and push up i'm going to take two of my guns and position them fairly central to where we want to be position some troops near the town but I don't really want to defend the town I really want to be outside I might position a gun team at the rear to continuously do well if I'm going to do that I want one at the rear to continuously do a counter battery fire but it does mean I need to split my other artillery up but don't want it all to be um, focused in one area. I'm going to put one unit of heavy cavalry to help fight in the town. The rest of my cavalry can go out on the right flank. General in the centre. Fewer howitzers this time. Oh god alive. True AI style. I don't know where the biggest army, where the biggest formations are coming from. I just know they're coming from everywhere. So I want to take this left flank here and push it up. Because you can't afford to be doing nothing. You three units need to be like this. How it says just fire at whoever you can. This unit of artillery. No, not shrapnel. I didn't mean you to limber up either. Did I catch it? I did. No, I didn't. I might have to get this cover unit back. You guys are enough to fight the pikemen there. You guys have pushed back that unit of horsemen. Just. But some shrapnel shot might help convince them to carry on running away. Generals of generals charged in. This unit on the flank isn't doing so well. push up on the left this is a mess you're blasting them away with canister shot You're fighting their horsemen here. Let's bring my other cavalry forces back to bear on the main fight. You've broken them, which is great news. Try fight the general's bodyguards. I don't really know what the best solution is apart from, for that, apart from artillery, the bejesus out of all of them. Two units of dervishes. Let's push up. You guys push up. This unit switch to round shot and engage Kizilbashi at long range. You guys charge in. You guys stay in square. Okay, so we got got rid of one of their generals. So let's bring the infantry across here. The 
Levy unfortunately made it into melee combat there. Get the Royal Kyra Infantry Guards to fire. To stay in. Let's get back into square. Get you guys into shrapnel. To fire shrapnel at that unit of General's bodyguard. You guys should clear out those dervishes. You guys don't really have a huge purpose. The main role of these guys is to get into line, get into position and fire line infantry into this mess. Because there's a general's bodyguard in there. And I'm not entirely sure what the best way to deal with it is. So you got hit by dervishes. Let's get you guys in there as well. You guys cannons to shot the general's bodyguard. That's another general knocked out. So the Royal Cairo infantry bodyguards are unhappy. Let's throw this infantry unit in to fight the cavalry there. You guys try attack them. The general's been cleared out there. You guys should win against that those chaps there. Oh, come on, kill the general's bodyguard. It's another general killed. Oh God, this is the this is a real pickle. Kill the dervishes, damn it! You guys kill the cavalry. Bring the general over here to try support that fight. Killed another general. Get this artillery unit to hopefully knock out the horsemen there. Get my charge the gen my general into the Sikh musketeers. You guys stay in square. charge them in. They've lost half their number. This is turning into a big scrap over here. You guys keep kind of shotting the horsemen. You can really do with some of these units that have routed to actually uh, exiting the battlefield. My general has fallen, as expected. My, this this battle's gone on for way too long. You keep fighting the general's bodyguard, I suppose. There's not really a lot else for you to do. So you've chased them away. Those two units are routed. There's a lot of death. So Curacier is doing a good, real a good job against the enemy cavalry. You guys hit the Kizilbashi, or at least attempt to. This has gone really badly wrong, because they just came in from every direction. Okay, good! A victory! Albeit a limited one. I'll still take it. So I wonder where the hell my reinforcements are going to come in. Drop into shrapnel shot. You guys just keep blasting this small unit of... Actually, you guys try, try pin the levy before they get to my guns. Vito! Vito Sparrow! You're needed! Or do I just abandon this army, let it die, and form Vito Vito's army up on a new a new defensive position? It's mighty tempting. You guys try blast that Kizilbashi. 
you guys form square because you've got lots of cavalry chasing after you. Okay, let's get you guys involved to fight against that unit of Kizilbashi. Artillery is still working. Let's quick climb those cavalry over in the distance. The Curiosier kill them. You guys shoot at that unit of General's bodyguard. You guys unlimber charge the levy. Well, not unlimber, but you know. So you guys are still fighting. You guys try blast the cavalry. More regiment of horse coming in. So you guys all fight the levy here. Okay, the main effort there is collapsed. Form square, because you've got cavalry coming in, so let's bring our heavy cavalry in. You guys try knock some holes in their cavalry. This artillery try to blast the Zimandari horsemen. Be a bit of a slug fest, they're not gonna be as useful as I would like, but there we are. 24 pounder heavy horse artillery. Yeah, I think I ought to consider this force as lost and primarily focus on bringing a new army to bear. Sorry, Vito. Let's bring you back. These guys form square and hold on. The howitzers do as much damage as you can. These cuirassiers go in. This regiment of horse fall back to help defend my new position. Gotta be brutal. Charge the Kizilbashi. I mean, I'm surprised this unit up here is still alive. So we do have the Sieg Musketeer unit up on the flank already. Hold the square. I've got my cavalry as a blocking force. We are under attack. I think right now the most of the force that is attempting to stop us is cavalry. Unfortunately the 12 horse guards is routing shattered with so many men lost. You guys hit the infantry mercenaries right off the bat. Gunners, pick up your guns. To be honest, that might I might have tried to push up a bit too far. If I'm gonna pick a new defensive position, it's probably gonna be back here. 
somewhere where my guys haven't got to go quite as far to join the fight. Let's recall our regiment of horse. Vito Sparrow is going to take up his position. So this shrapnel shot is surprisingly still alive. The big effort is going to come over this hill. Characters might not even get that far on the field. Just get them on and out of the way. Who's that? It's a unit of horsemen. You guys cease firing. You guys unlimber. Let's pivot. The line infantry slightly. Okay. The original chaos and panic has subsided. Regiment of Horse, what are you... What are you doing? You can shot Kizilbashi, you shrapnel shot those guys, you guys. Switch to round shot and start firing at their 12 pounders if they're going to leave them if they're going to leave that artillery this artillery alive Put some swiss guards on this flank Okay, let's clear them away. Retarget them. Okay, now they're coming. Let's see if my guys can reload their guns faster than you guys can reload your bows and arrows. Let's get one more unit infantry on the right flank. On the left flank, sorry. I think the main effort is going to be trying to push and retake this hill. Hey, my cow my artillery pushed them off. All right, round shot. Focus on the gunners. Okay, good. Our massed firepower still got the old charm. Okay, let's run some infantry up as a bit of reserves in various parts of the line. Because you guys need to be quick climbing the, the crap out of this here hill. Ah, they're coming after you again! Come on, kill him! Fire! Fire, it's the end of you! It's the end of them. Okay, so this flank is going to push up. It looks like we are going to take control of this hill. Because right now, very handily, they are running back into the back into our gun sights. It's real nice of them. Let's 
So let's push down into these into the woods and secure this hill. Mass routes from the enemy, which is excellent news. Good stuff. Oh, yes. You want to charge any more cavalry into me? Oh, I've got pike, boys. So I'm not going to push up and be greedy. I want to push up and rebuild my position. Right. How it says, focus on the units that are re-entering the battle. So let's begin opening fire again onto the horse, onto the Zimidari horsemen. They're going to aim at our cavalry or our infantry. Cavalry, fair enough, ski. If it dealt with you guys, all folks fire that unit of horsemen. So much damage. So one of our armies was completely destroyed in this engagement. Okay, let's limber up the howitzers. Get ready to push them up. Because we've actually got a, we've got a, we have a chance now to push to take the the uh, the forward crest of this this position but obviously I only want to do it when the right units are oh no not my pokemon leave my pokemon alone still entering the field it's not over okay be very careful how we go about doing it. So I'm going to push an infantry line up first so I can... I mean, it's unfortunate that a lot of you guys can't actually advance. is it now. What we've got is it. We have no reinforcements. But the main thing is I want to push up and threaten their artillery. Because right now we can't. We don't have an angle on it. One way we can do it is through our howitzers, but another way of going about it is our with our heavy gun teams. Okay, let's get our infantry and foot reserves up. The one thing we can do is start to push this right flank because we know that's well, oh, no, quote unquote, that's where they're not coming in from. If you could break the two fangy, that would be, would be excellent. Go 
good because that means we can then we can also advance up our left flank okay let's actually drop one unit of how it is now so we're at least getting some support Okay, so there's another more of their reinforcements coming in from back there. Folks firing my cavalry. What I want to do. get into a better position yep you might have made my cavalry route but you've not made my pikeman route and they've got a lot of things to say to you so they've routed so push up so much so much levy and so much junk. But yeah, you can see why I want my artillery up here or somewhere more like here. Starting to get within how it's a range. 12 pound of foot, 12 pound of foot. Some bowmen in the trees. Retreat you guys so that you can draw them into my pikemen. Very well. If they don't want to push, my pikemen will wait. But as the bowmen pushed out of the trees. Straighten our line up a bit. Okay, I might have to commit my pikes to fight the cavalry as much as I would rather not. Okay, you men reload. And engage. This artillery is now too far back. Go get them, pikes. So they charge my grenadiers and some other infantry here, which isn't the best for them. Let's push the pike. Let's push them back. So let's get my infantry back into line, ready to reform. Pushing back a lot of men pretty quickly. My artillery on the hill can unlimber. Get my pikes over to try and fight the levy on the right flank. So they still have some units coming in, but I'm curious as to how many they actually have. So let's switch, stay with round shot and engage the two fangy at range. Now my pikemen are in. The levy should fall thick and fast. So all of you accept my pikes once this action is done. Can redeploy. 12 pounder howitzers just form up so you guys accept for the pikes well the pikes storm up because there's a there's a uh, cavalry unit right there these men are pouring beautiful fire into the levee and repelling them once more so can't see I can, can't see I can shoot anything from inside these trees so this infantry, ceasefire, and load.
focus on artillery on the rear, actually. That's where my... Where you guys should be focusing. Still got troops coming in. But they are routing very quickly. Let's bring these guys into the line. The men can fire now because the cavalry are gone and my muskets can get away. How it said it's at the back, it's formed up. Begin to engage these, these two fangy that are now entering the field. So this is a battle that started here, was lost, then kicked off again over here, and I've since pushed up across the map to engage the enemy in a new front line. What a man Vito is. Aha, we have men coming in from over here now. Very well. Straight line. Including these guys who, are, who have entered the battle, but aren't in the battle. Somehow. These grenadiers cease fire. Oh, these men are... these guys are out. going to be this is going to be a tricky tricky situation okay this how it's a uh, you guys need to get up and get firing we've also got cavalry more artillery on the f oh god we're not gonna yeah and let it the alternative, the alternative worlds are we hold off for another half an hour, which I don't think is going to happen. You man, cease fire. Have only one unit fire at a time. That's, how it's, that's what we're going to have to do. We're just not going to have enough um, firepower to put these guys down. That's what we're seeing, because we're seeing more troops coming in from back here. Again, it's possible we could survive. But what we're witnessing, I think, is bigger, much bigger than what we can actually cope with. Let's get you guys backfiring. Just... The quicker you can all fire to make them clear off, the better. So we've got, we've got units with no ammunition, whose only job is to stay in the front line to act as a bullet sponge. Okay, Vito. Time to earn those. Time to earn that scrambled egg on your hat. New men at the back engage the general's bodyguard at range. Who's that coming in? It's another artillery unit. I'm going to try and knock out some of this artillery.
me. You're tearing holes through the in the gen through the general. Push up, Vito. The enemy has no cavalry on the field except for the general's bodyguard unit. running starting to run dangerously low so much so some of these units that have no ammunition are going to form a form an attack company so you guys can fire or cease fire these guys push in broken and shattered you men cease fire allow the attack companies to do their work these two infantry units that currently have not been firing this whole time they're currently have a full load of ammo Vito is moving up to knock out this 12 pounder There you go. So all these guys are saving ammo, while these units that can't do anything but fight in the melee can do as much damage as possible. There we go, Vito's knocked out that gun team. They're shattered. And I'll push on to go for that gun team there. So I'm not entirely bothered if these guys win or win or die. All I care about is they're not taking up ammunition. Or well, they're not using up ammo. It's attempting to intercept Vito. But it might work. They've still got more coming in. Good. Hit the 12 pounder. That's probably another one, another unit coming in right away. So come on, let's take him out, then get Vito back into the fight. Because you guys are still doing. Hey, you're doing. You're doing good. Good. Vito, get out of there. You've still got some artillery over by the mass of troops, but... Very well. You men push on into the bowmen. This is how we're going to have to do it. We're going to have to slowly feed men into the... Uh, the enemy mass that's coming through, because we don't have the strength. Well, we don't have the ammo to deal with it ourselves. Okay, you, you're not done. There's still a 12 pounder unit here that needs taken care of. Switch to round shot, engage that unit there. AI know they're running to intercept. Okay, I'm curious if that's going to be it. Because it could be. Come on. There we go, artillery shattered. I mean, we're quick climbing guys here, but that's okay. As long as my guys aren't shooting ammo. Let's bring my pikes into, into battle as well, for the same reason. Every enemy unit we kill 
with our bare hands is another shot not fired. Very well. They've broken our forces there. They've got one set of artillery back here, but I think that might be all of their troops. So we have a chance here. It's these men that are advancing. They can fire at will. broken so you guys stop okay, now let's just bring you guys back I know there's a unit here that's kind of stuck I'm not sure how we're going to approach that we're probably going to attack ground with quick line That was a great hit with the canister shot there. Chase them away. The main focus for my artillery is to attack whatever units are in combat with my front line to do as much morale damage as possible. A lot of our units don't have a lot of ammo left. I mean, some of them have plenty. Like I said, our reserve, the, res the reserve units that are in have got loads. Good. Engage that unit there. You can actually do with knocking out, doing something against this unit on the. F oh, you're in round shot mode. Very well. Well, I think that's the lot. I think that's it. That's which is which would be huge. Okay, general, get her back there to clear out that gun team. Let's bring some reinforcements in. We're not going to continue the battle because these guys might screw it up. My pikes are in. I mean, that's a bit of lovely friendly fire there. Pretty sure the last guy alive is that gun team. Oh, I, I halted all my artillery, but there must have been a handful of them still kicking. But there we go. So Vito Oh no, not they're not completely done. Switch to round shot, engage. That unit. No, they aren't completely done. They are reforming. But let's Can you guys quick climb them? I mean, I mean, this is all they've got left, which is pretty huge considering what they could have been. Quick climb is going to come in, hopefully do a load of damage to that unit. The general is going to knock out their 12 pounder. They're wavering. They're still confident. Let's see how losing. Well, I was going to say, let's see how they're losing this artillery upsets them, but apparently not by much. If you can get another volley of quicklime off, that would be excellent. I don't think they are going to get one, get a last volley off. Oh, they are. Oh, good. That got them good. run my general away 
they want him, you're going to have to come at me in front of the bodies of all of these dead men. Like, it looks better from back here, because you can just see the, <laughs> the absolute chaos that's everywhere. Oh. Yep, you're all that's left. You men. Load, quick climb, and engage. The artillery. Load, shrapnel shot, and engage. Yes. So the reason why this is so important is because it should... Well, it'll do, I mean, it's not a perfect position because my army is now knackered. And there's a bunch of them still on the island. Um, but still, a win's better than a loss. And could you imagine if they mobbed me with actual good units rather than chaff? Because like I said... the well, It's pretty much a good example of what I was explaining at the start of the episode where... Chaff isn't a problem when there's not much of it. When there's lots of it, that's when it's a problem. <laughs> so there's a unit over here that's bugged, so that might do something. So if I attack ground here with my howitzers... Yeah, there we go. Attack ground here and it should still clear them out, even though they've not technically entered the battlefield but it remains to be seen if that doesn't work then I'll um, see the timer out because I'm the defender um, but yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back depending on what happens so see you in a second everyone oh, apologies so I wiped out everyone over there but it turns out there's a small cluster of guys that are bugged back at the edge of the map but hopefully because they attacked us and we survived till the edge of the battle timer this is why you always have a battle timer we win and it's very much a pyrrhic victory because we two armies have been shattered to get this victory oh god so we lost 3700 they lost 12,320 men collectively it was a 20 i mean i should have put I should have figured that was not enough men. But if I can get a naval ship over there now, I can take over the town and those individual splinter armies will be stuck on their own little islands unless they get their own ships over here. But you can soon see they are pouring troops into the fight in the north and that's why it's so important that Quebec is constantly recruiting men but what I yeah okay. so what I did apologize for I do apologize for all the, the noise you heard at the end of the last part because I was so shocked I accidentally hit my microphone and it fell over um but yes right oh this is gonna be a, this is a long episode <laughs> it's got a rake in England again not the best place to spawn it and Andreas, okay, they've both got bloody. Okay, workers on strike, I'll tell you. No, they're not. But let's hop over to the Americas because this is where all the business stuff is going on. So Vito Sparrow's army survives. Our other army did not. So you can recruit another general to replace it, Donato Costa. But what I was talking about was if I get an old Slooperoonie into Punda. We have that local naval superiority which means they can't travel between these islands the way they would expect to. Ah. Oh. Nope, I appear to have misremembered. So what I might have to do is do some combining of troops. Have one front line fighting army and then another that's just a, a shell of its former self. Sorry Donato, you're about to lose your command. Definitely want to combine these together because a fewer number of more powerful units is still preferable. So let's get, just move a bunch of units over that would probably be useful. I mean, I'm assuming my infantry units are going to be combined and eventually destroyed. Colonial. Ah, okay, right. 
two slot, two spaces. Got some grenadiers and the Cairo infantry guards in there, I guess, even though they're not technically the best. Put that army under siege. Put the city under siege, but don't attack it. Although, if you, although I think if I don't attack, and I get. Oh, I see. All, hmm. Let's get another fifth rate over. Because I'm pretty sure it means they can't they can't move over the way they would like. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Let's not attack them. Let's not stir it up there. I'm up here. The Andrea Spinelli. Yeah, you need. You need heavy cavalry support, and that's probably going to come from Quebec. It is. So Quebec has another army recruited and ready to fight. Gianfranco and Adorno can replenish. You guys can replenish. Bartolomeo, Spinelli. Get into Montreal and move up. You are now the man on point. Oh, has Montreal not got the pop to recruit these guys, I expect. Uh, hmm, don't know. Let's repair the port. So Vito Rastrielli. You guys, you also recruit infantry. Well, that's now Quebec full. Okay. Port Nashwack can't recruit anything of use. You're still advancing up the west coast. Yeah, you yeah, you've got some decisions to make. Mughal Empire, you're going to move up front to let this force here replenish. This force of Fort Nashwak is also replenishing. Can you leave the territory? You can leave. You're upgrading it to a church school to help convert the population back to good old Catholicism. And you can also... Well, you can stay, hold ground in the territory. Don't go mad. Now, I think now is when we want to declare on the Huron... So you put Fort Salt St. Marie under siege. And then we also get you involved. We get this second rate back over to the mainland to join up with just to join up with other ships. Okay, good. Okay. I think there's still a def there's a definite requirement where we still need to keep providing um, armies in the Americas from the uh, from Europe. So you men embark aboard these fourth rates. Get over there. And if this is any indication of what fighting in India is going to be like, holy bejesus. That's going to be a tough fight. So all of my troops in Italy are now still, well they're all storming over to the east. You might actually put Persia under siege because you have that option. It won't annihilate them. You, you're going to put the, ter the city under siege because you can. You're going to put Tbilisi under siege again because you can. I mean, I might even auto that because that's a pretty depleted garrison right there. So they're very unhappy. But if we get rid of the university, they'll chill out. These troops that 
are replenishing can also move, make their way over to the right place. You push on to Zahedan. This spy whoop, move up to... Have we got one in Darun? Let's push you up to Ahmedabad. Yeah, because you're going to go and infiltrate Naroon. No, not the farm. Still, lots of troops though. Okay, so then you go to the cover the north highway. Okay, don't have to worry about moving everyone else yet. So here at Yerevan, this army under Ernesto Defendi, whose brother, I like to think of it, think of it as his brother. We push on to there, then minus two to public order, so let's not tax them and let's grade the church school. Okay, let's keep, let's keep throwing more troops, throw a handful more stacks towards Azerbaijan, keep the rest moving either towards Persia or towards the northern road. So Nico is probably waiting for some troops to catch up. Just keep pushing up. Okay. Let's do a bit of building. Can this force leave minus 15? Yeah, he's going to be stuck there for a while. We are about to see a new building be built. Or a new town emerge, but that's probably not going to be enough to help us out. Let's upgrade Mosul to a Jesuit college. Konya's being upgraded. And Atolia, you can get metal roads. A couple of top tier buildings. Montreal's art is fortified. Bologna has been upgraded. So these armies are, I know it seems like a bit of a waste, but they are waiting for the invasion of Italy. Yeah, Raffaello Bianchi, yeah, sadly, he fell. He fell. Georgia was secured. This is going to be another massive battle. That's why I wanted to kind of draw all these armies um, a bit closer to the front than they currently are. So you're a couple of Dragoons. Minus three. Just keep moving them up. Um, but I think that's everything. And looking at the timer, I think that's definitely the time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for another episode of the Italian States Campaign. Cheers, everyone.